Good evening, everyone. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners, the Durag people, and pay my respect to elders past and present. On behalf of the Faculty of Arts in Macquarie University, I want to welcome you to the Faculty of Arts Postgraduate Information Evening. My name's Dr. Nicole Anderson. I'm the Director of Learning and Teaching for the Department of Media, Music, Communications and Cultural Studies in the Faculty of Arts here at Macquarie. I'm also your MC for this evening. But before introducing you to other, um, the other speakers, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Faculty of Arts and talk to you about our postgraduate coursework programs. And I want to begin by drawing your attention to a number of university league tables that were released recently. In a nutshell, what they convey is that the Faculty of Arts is pretty hot. It was ranked as one of the best arts faculties in the world and in Australia. One ranking had us as sixth best um, faculty in Australia, and in all rankings we come in as top 10 in Australia. And for some, we rate top 100 on the planet, currently sitting at 61. So we have a world-class arts faculty, which is fantastic, and which I'm very proud and honoured to be part of. Now, there are a number of reasons for our world-class status, but I, what I'd like to do tonight is outline three reasons for you. First, the faculty consistently produces award-winning teachers, both across the university and nationally, as well as internationally respected and world-renowned researchers. And just one example is Professor David Christian, who some of you may know, who teaches the internationally famous Big History Project, and which Bill Gates is funding to expand across all high schools in America. And Professor Christian is just one of our high profile researchers. There are many more, and some of them are here tonight, and I'll be introducing you to them later. The Faculty of Arts has several centres of research excellence, and these centres are not only a result of and support our innovative and cutting edge researchers in the faculty, but at the same time attract some of the most prestigious researchers from around the world. These centres also span a range of disciplinary fields and for more information about them you can either go to the Faculty of Arts website or the link on the slide here, is a, um, you can click on that and these slides are available for download from the uh, marketing website. Now you may be thinking, well big deal, what does this mean for you? The importance of the internationally recognised research leaders and teachers is that as postgraduates you will have the opportunity to be part of our research-led teaching programs. And these programs will not only provide you advanced knowledge of the discipline or field, but you will have access to and be taught by these leading scholars and the most up-to-date research. Now, the second reason for our world-class Faculty of Arts is that with our 11 departments and large range of disciplinary areas within those departments, the Faculty offers, offers a range of postgraduate coursework degree programs that provide flexibility, depth and breadth of learning, as well as a professional focus. And because these programs have a professional focus, they provide you with the opportunity to work with industry practitioners <coughs> through internships, while also giving you the opportunity to partake in an extended research project that you can develop along, say, an academic supervisor. Overall, the programs enable you to apply your theoretical and practical skills learnt in the program in a professional context and vice versa. There are also opportunities for studying online in some of the programs, particularly in the politics, international relations, creative writing and policing and counter-intelligence disciplines. And you can find a list of postgraduate coursework programs on the Faculty Arts website, but in particular I want to mention three new programs that will be offered from 2014. So these will include the Master of Future Journalism, Masters of Creative Media, and Master of International Public Policy. Just a little bit of technical detail, the postgraduate coursework programs from 2015 will be 18 months to two year programs requiring 48 credit points of study, where each unit is around four credit points. Well, it is actually. Included in this is a capstone unit from 2015, a research unit or component, core units and a number of electives to choose from. Now, the Master of Future Journalism. This program is where you can develop expertise in fundamental and new journalism practice, such as 
ethics, news, reporting, writing, working with multimedia forms including audio, video and web-based, and journalism innovation including aggregation, curation, social media and data journalism. You'll have access to state-of-the-art facilities, which I'll talk to you more about in a moment, the opportunity to go on exchange in New York, Shanghai, Hong Kong, UK, and develop an, an understanding of the media management fundamental to help you expand your career options. The Master of Creative Media gives you the skills to produce and publish your creative media um, projects and collaborate with others. It helps you develop a network of creative practitioners, develop creative media entrepreneurship, and enables you to learn from academics and creative practitioners who are award-winning writers, journalists, filmmakers, documentary program makers, broadcasters, and audio music specialists. Again, some of them are here tonight that you can talk to. Then we have the Master of International Public Diplo Diplomacy. Now this is pretty exciting. The program will be the first degree of its kind offered in Australia. It gives you an interdisciplinary focus. It will help you prepare for a career in public service international development or international business. The program will provide opportunity to network and learn from serving and retired diplomats and the option to do an internship in your chosen field. Now these new programs, as well as many of the other postgrad course work programs in the faculty, are supported by state-of-the-art facilities. <clears throat> Which brings me to the third reason why the Faculty of Arts is one of the best in Australia and in the world in which to undertake postgraduate study. The state-of-the-art facilities support and enable innovative learning and teaching practices and research practices and collaborations. Examples of, of our facilities include the Y3A building in which is housed two state-of-the-art recording studios, um, a, a drama studio, a film studio with all the state-of-the-art lighting and technology equipment, it contains a dance studio with special dance flooring, radio production facilities, computer labs, screen production facilities and multimedia labs. And in 2015, and I think this is pretty exciting, a new digital newsroom to accompany the new Masters of Future Journalism will be in place. These facilities are the best in Australia and match, if not surpass, industry standards and expectations. Other facilities include two museums and an art gallery, the Museum of Ancient Cultures, and the Australian History Museum and the Macquarie Art Gallery, all of which support the teaching of undergraduate and postgraduate programs in the Faculty of Arts at Macquarie. The museums have been named amongst the top 30 most amazing university museums, while the Art Gallery not only has diverse collection of modernist works, but hosts exciting and adventurous exhibitions. Now, for those of you who might not have the requirements to enable you to enrol in your desired postgrad coursework program, such as a BA in the field of study you want to enrol in, don't panic. There are pathways to master's study. So let me give you an example. Say hypothetically you did a BA in media, but you're really interested in doing a postgraduate course in politics. But without a B BA degree in politics, it's not possible to enter straight into a master politics program. However, there is a pathway. And that would involve doing a graduate certificate or diploma in politics, which would then give you the background to enter into a postgraduate program in politics. But also Macquarie University's recognition of prior learning policy allows for the recognition of formal, non-formal and informal learning, both for entry into and credit towards programs of study. So it is possible for programs to recognise learning gained through work experience, training programs, industry accredited qualifications and so on. For some creative areas, pathways may involve presenting or supplying a portfolio or industry experience. And if you want to know more about these pathways, please speak to me or one of the academics here tonight or visit the faculty uh, website. To end, I want to point out that as a result of our world-class research and teaching in the Faculty of Arts, we have fantastic postgraduate outcomes. Not only do we end up with students doing extremely well in whatever positions they take up or into as a result of undertaking postgraduate study here at Macquarie. And, and just one example is somebody called Sandy Evans, some people may know her, who works in the music industry as a famous saxophonist. And we also have high profile alumni with Master of Arts degrees from the Faculty of Arts at Macquarie, such as Hugh Remington, who is National Political Editor and uh, Bureau Chief in Canberra and for T Network 10, the author Hugh McKay, the politician Tanya Plebisic, and a whole host of others. 
So I've given you a brief overview of postgraduate coursework programs and you can talk to us later about details or questions.